This drive around the league is brought to you by your greater Washington area Hyundai dealers. Summer's almost over, but you can still get epic savings now through Labor Day, only at the Hyundai Epic Summer Sales Event. Get 0% APR financing for 72 months with no payments for 90 days on the Tucson. Visit buyhyundai.com today. That is Grant Paulson. I'm Danny Ruye, and we are talking Nationals. GP, 12 and 19 at the time of this recording. They've started to swing the bats a little bit better. Trey Turner's on fire. Juan Soto's still Juan Soto, and he's excellent. It hasn't mattered, though. All of a sudden, the team known for starting pitching for the better part of the last decade isn't doing that. They're not winning games. Yeah, they got a couple guys at the top of the order hitting 350, having monster seasons, and it's almost irrelevant for a couple reasons. I mean, they're not deep enough in their lineup. They haven't gotten enough out of some of their left-handed bats like Adam Eaton and Eric Thames. But as you said, the key right now is that the rotation just isn't good enough. Max Scherzer hasn't necessarily been Max Scherzer. It seems like he's rounding into form as we speak. Uh, but it hasn't been a dominant kind of signature season for him this to this point. Patrick Corbin himself hit a rough patch, uh, whereas there's no real margin for error because of the lack of depth in this rotation. Uh, he's been good. They probably need him to be like Cy Young caliber dominant. And then behind those guys, that's your strength is, is those two pitchers without Strasburg. You've got Anibal Sanchez, who hasn't really given you much of a chance most times. He started. Austin both who might need to be replaced in the rotation at this point. They just don't have any options. And Eric Fetty, who was supposed to have been kind of a long man in the bullpen. So that's 60% of your rotation, man. I mean, it's, it's Scherzer, Corbin, or you're kind of hoping for a great bullpen day and eight runs of offense. Yeah, not a great recipe for winning games. So the trade deadline as of this recording is this afternoon. I frankly don't expect them to do very much. We're seeing actually more movement at the deadline than I thought we would see, to be frank, with this incredibly shortened season. I think maybe more teams are kind of going, you know what, we may not be here if they, we did this over 162. Let's give some of our young pieces a chance. Look at the Padres. I think Toronto might be active, et cetera. There may be an opportunity for the Nets to spin some folks, but they haven't really done that. That's not really been their MO, uh, save for the one season a couple of years ago after the trade deadline where they got guys for kind of cents on the dollar moved on to maybe save a little bit of cash in in terms of payroll. I'm not expecting much from the Nats today. What about you? Same. I mean, I, in terms of selling, which is, you know, very viable idea at 19 and uh, I should say with with their record with now 19 losses. Yeah. Um, I I would say that they're not going to give anybody up who's got any term beyond this year. I wouldn't think. Right. So if they're trading someone, it's going to be a pending free agent, you know, one year piece. And they're just kind of viewing this year as a lost cause and and they're punting on that. But I think if I'm Mike Rizzo today, my goal is to position myself as best as possible on opening day next year, because this is not necessarily while it's a bad year to this point, like a sign that, you know, things are over or that they can't compete theoretically on day one next season. You've still got Max and Strauss and Corbin as the focal point of your rotation. You've got Turner and Soto. And and so you've got the core that you need. So I'm not giving anybody up for beyond this year. But if they can get a decent minor leaguer or two back, they're not going to get any top prospects back for guys on expiring contracts. You're just kind of rearranging chairs on, on the Titanic at that point. I would consider that. That's great. I'm Danny. We'll be talking Nationals each and every week come Monday. Thanks for watching. This drive around the league is brought to you by your greater Washington area Hyundai dealers. Summer's almost over, but you can still get epic savings now through Labor Day, only at the Hyundai Epic Summer Sales Event. Lease a 2020 Sonata or an Elantra for $169 a month, or get 0% APR for 60 months. Visit buyhyundai.com today.